Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to run uh, my, uh, DB script uh, from MySQL command prompt and how to create a store position uh, in MySQL Toad and finally we have seen how to call a store procedure from the Toad. Right? So this is the way to call a store procedure uh, from the Toad. If uh, you did not watch my previous tutorial then I request you to watch my previous tutorial and then come to watch this video right so in this video I'm going to call a store procedure which we had written in earlier video tutorial get order by customer ID right get order by cust so basically this store procedure takes customer ID and that returns you the how many orders have been shipped cancelled resolved and disputed that is the count is going to return by the store procedure right so for customer whose id is 145 uh, three order have been shipped zero has been cancelled one has been resolved and finally one was disputed order right so these things we can call this is store procedure we want to call from the uh, java program using callable statement and with this value we want to get in the java program itself so here i have created this project uh, calling a store procedure using callable statement and I have a utility class which already I had created in my previous video tutorial and on the top of this utility class I have declared constants like database driver name, database URL, username, password and I have used a static block to create a connection right first of all I have registered my JDBC driver by calling class.forname getting the connection by calling get, get connection of driver manager class and uh, and this happens in the static block and we have a static method get connection which uh, I am calling from the client program like dbutil dot get connection because this is a static method so when you call this method before that this static block will be executed and this uh, created connection will be returned to the customer right so it's pretty straightforward from here I am going to call uh, a my store procedure right so what I will do so let's write as try block, try catch block. If any exception arises, then I would like to print the print stack trace itself. So let's call print stack trace. And here I'm going to use try with resources as we uh, used in earlier project. And here I'm going to use a connection a callable statement, right? So basically, as we have discussed, callable statement is used to call the store procedure. So say let's, let's say CS is the callable statement. How we can create callable statement by calling the connection. Connection interface as a method is called something is called prepare call, which returns you the callable statement, right? And this asks you to supply the SQL parameter, right? So here I'm going to call SQL equal to. So here I would like to call the store procedure, right? So I would say call. So this call keyword is case insensitive. You can write in either in capital or small, doesn't matter. And I'm going to want to call this store procedure. So this is our store procedure. So store procedure name. And this store procedure name uh, takes store procedure takes how many parameters? One, two, three, four, five parameters. One, one parameter is input and rest four output four parameters are the output parameter so here you will have to specify five question mark right so placeholder you need to specify and all five question marks should separated with the comma right so first question mark represents input parameter and rest of the four question mark represent output parameter and same SQL I'm going to pass it over here right and this resources connection as well as callable statement you don't need to close in the finally block because this that's the significance of try with resources these two interface implements auto closable interface that will be closed automatically by the JVM by calling the close method available in the auto closable interface which is going to extend by these two interface okay so now we have a CS and here uh, I'm going to set input parameter first set int 
uh, index of first in, first is the input para index of this parameter is one and here i'm going to specify i would say int uh, cust id means customer id i'm going to take one four five and this input uh, just i'm going to hard code but you can take from the keyboard as well so first input parameter i have specified the first placeholder represents the input parameter this so is the four push placeholder represents the output parameter so in when you call a stored procedure and your stored procedure contains any output parameter then first of all those output parameter you will have to register as discussed in the previous slide previous video so uh, so index of second parameter is the two and i would say types dot integer right so uh, this parameter returns as an integer so if you look into the store procedure these are the input parameter if you look into the store procedure then let me show you the store procedure which we had created earlier so this parameter is the int parameter right all parameters is the int parameter so integer and rest of the output parameter also you have to register so there are four output parameters so index two three four and five these are the output parameters so all output parameter i have registered with the particular sql data type right now now callable statement dot execute method will have to call because if your store procedure returns some results set then you will have to call execute query but this does not return you any result set but that returns you some output parameter so you can call call label uh, statement object dot execute right now now i'm going to get the output so if you look in the how many order has been saved that uh, i'm going to display so i say saved Saved order and saved order. I'm going to print cs dot get int index of this is two, right? Similarly, we'll have to four output parameter. So first was the saved. Second, I would like to print how many parameter has been cancelled now how many sorry how many ordered have been resolved and how many order is disputed so this count which is going to return by the store procedure sorry disputed okay this count i'm going to display over here right these are the output we are getting from the store procedure so two three this is fourth index and this is fifth index and we are done now let me run this store procedure let me run this application and see shipped order we have a three cancelled order zero resolved order one and disputed order three at one so if you go to the here and uh, here is earlier I had called a stored position. Let's call it again and see shift order is 3 Cancelled is 0 resolved is 1 and shift disputed is 1. So same output here we are getting So I hope you understood how to call a stored procedure How to call a stored procedure from a Callable statement in next video. I'm going to show you if your results set, I mean your stored procedure returns some result set then how we can get that result set using callable statement how we can iterate it in java application right so this code i'm going to upload on github and github location i will specify in the video description itself this project contains source code uh, as a store procedure code right and this also contains the dbs script that you directly you can run on your machine so and all dependence dependent jars is there already so I, everything i'm going to ch check in on the github so once you download nothing there is no dependency will be i mean missed out so everything is as a package uh, on the github so directly you can 
uh, download and simply we need to install the mysql database and you can run this program on your machine so thanks for watching this machine uh, sorry thanks for watching this uh, video and see you next video tutorial with something new in the jdbc